Dr. Goldberg here continuing our internal medicine lecture series. Today we're talking about thrombocytopenia or a low platelet count. Certainly need to have a knowledge of what causes thrombocytopenia uh, both in the inpatient and outpatient uh, uh, clinics. Um, very straightforward in terms of the causes. Uh, number one, anytime there's an increase in destruction of the platelets, that's the big first class. We're talking about ITP or TTP, which are autoimmune diseases, hemolytic uremic syndrome, uh, hypersplenism or an enlarged spleen, HIV infection, uh, and uh, vascular, uh, collagen vascular diseases such as lupus. So increased destruction in those diseases. Um, Number two, where there's a decreased production of platelets. So we see this in B12 deficiency, folate deficiency, uh, leukemias or myelothysic processes of the bone marrow where there's bone marrow dysfunction, septic shock with DIC, uh, diseases such as dengue fever, uh, or decreased thrombopoietin uh, production in patients with liver failure. Uh, so those, that's the second big cause. And then the third big cause is medication. So there's certain meds that are associated with thrombocytopenia. These include Depakote, methotrexate, interferon, interferon hydrochlorothiazide, Accutane, Singular, H2 uh, blockers, uh, and even chemotherapy. So just a little bit about ITP. Uh, this is an autoimmune disease. It's really uh, basically related to antiplatelet antibodies which are directed to the glycoprotein 2A, 3B, 3B area. Uh, early on, often no symptoms, uh, but as it gets worse and the platelet count, counts drop, we have to use IV steroids uh, or oral steroids, IV immune globulins, and thrombopoietin receptor agonists uh, such as Promacta or N-plate. Uh, there are refractory cases that require splenectomy. So remember ITP. And then TTP is interesting in that it's uh, much less uh, uh, common, but this is a disease where there's autoantibodies against the Adam TS13 enzyme. Uh, so this enzyme interacts with von Willebrand uh, factor, and the factor can't be cleaved, so there's microclots and there's schistocytes in the peripheral uh, blood causing DIC. So TTP causes a classic pentad of symptoms. Uh, number one, there's a low platelet count. Number two, there's hemolytic anemia. Number three, there's usually a fever. Number four, there's acute renal failure because of, because of sludging. And number five, there's usually transient uh, neurological uh, defects. So remember that pentad for TP, TTP. And of course, the treatment for TTP is plasmapheresis. So that's just some uh, uh, summaries of ITP and TTP. Obviously, heparin-induced thrombocytopenia is something you got to be aware of in the hospital. This is very rare, only 0.2 to 5% of patients. Uh, it's usually seen when patients are on heparin for more than four days. And, of course, platelet factor 4 is bound to heparin, and the antibodies to PF4 result in the low platelet count. So, nice summary of uh, thrombocytopenia. Uh, thank you, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.